Hey, it's David, welcome to Harp Magic. And welcome to my professional studio uh, that I continuously uh, seem to be producing this show out of. It just seems to be convenient to make a snappy video and head in and get to the gym and, uh, you know, doing all my health stuff at once. So uh, so if the show looks pretty consistent and it's very non-professional, it's because it, uh, it's consistently non-professional. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video today. I've had a few people find me on Instagram because of... Uh, uh, this channel and everything, and um, I don't plan to dip into other areas of my life uh, for this particular channel, uh, but it's uh, they were kind of surprised to find out that I um, uh, I'm the hard the show is called Heart Magic, uh, and it's uh, I have a big theme of magic going because I'm a professional magician, and I love that uh, <laughs> that little element there because when I've been having my scans go. Uh, for, uh, you know, at the doctors and everything, and they find out they're kind of like, <laughs> people are either entertained by me or they're afraid of me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I really, at, at this point in my life, I really don't care. Um, it's just funny, the dynamic that happens. But I wanted to make a quick video today uh, to talk about this concept of magic, healing your heart with magic, uh, because I, that's kind of like the mentality that I've had in my head. Um, and in a, an ideal world, we could whisk a magic wand and everything would be instantly uh, done. But uh, there is something uh, to be learned from the world of magic uh, as it relates to healing our hearts, and that is the idea of magic itself. Uh, the world as we know it is very science driven. There's no, there, there seems to be all these ministries and offices of science, uh, and none of magic, you know. I don't know what that's about, uh, because in my head and heart, uh, I think that magic is a thousand percent real. It's just the way that we define what magic is, is where people seem to get tripped up. They seem to have this expectation that it is supposed to look like what they see on a TV screen. Ironically, TV screens were helped invented by magicians in the 1800s, uh, and were uh, the very first movies were considered magic shows. So as far as I'm concerned, magic is a hundred percent real. But what's the difference between science and magic. Well, magic is much more about the effect of what is happening, okay? Magic is much more about creating that result. It's uh, very, uh, it's the fact that you can transform the world or your life or your body simply by willing it to happen. In fact, the term abracadabra literally uh, translates to, uh, I, I, uh, I create what I speak. So saying the words themselves can create a world around you. So <clears throat> if you're walking around saying, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm dying, I'm dying, but you start to say the words, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm getting better, it really does shift not just your focus, but also your the trajectory of your life. So the words that you are literally saying can literally change the way that you uh, behave and operate. The other thing that's very remarkable about this is the fact that these types of things really do impact our hearts. If we are walking around like nervous wrecks, uh, like I have been for a long time, uh, it literally affects uh, your heart. So um, so just because I am a professional magician, uh, just because I understand uh, some of these things, doesn't mean that I'm perfect either. What really matters ultimately is that you think like a magician, uh, shout out to my friend Kosia, um, you'll, he knows why. Um, and so, uh, and to think with that mentality, which is, uh, and there was this great thing in a magic book uh, by a guy named Tommy Wonder called The Mind Movie. And you're basically breaking down magic into two, you're imagining the result that you wanna create for your life first and then you work backwards and you figure out what are the steps that I actually have to take what is the method that creates that effect in the world and this uh, this is a very uh, remarkable thing for some people because so many people are so busy trying to find solutions from other people they, they don't even understand what's happening they don't understand the effect of what's happening in the world and therefore they can't sit there and hack the method to create a new result or figure out a new vision for themselves so for me, my vision has been to transform my heart, to restore it to ding, a pristine condition. And this quest that I've been on has been very, very important because it's not the same thing as I need to repair my heart or I need to salvage it for as long as humanly possible. I'm trying to restore that thing 
so that it's, it feels like brand new, almost like you couldn't tell that there was a restoration job on a car kind of thing. It's kind of like that. So uh, this goal that I have in mind, relative to the fact that I still have a bicuspid valve, I think is pretty important because that's thinking like someone who can do real magic. That's thinking like somebody who uh, isn't just do, trying to chase after the pain and problems that they've been encountering along the way and just trying to fix those up. Blah, 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 blah. We're trying to go all the way up to the top. So uh, I'm not uh, saying that again, I mean, it's very good that we have the technology and the science behind the the methods behind transforming and having the technology technological opportunity to repair a heart. I'm not saying that that's not important. However, there is an alternative technology now, which is stem cells. Uh, and also supplements. Supplements are a new technology relatively because, uh, I mean, we've had concentrated powdered plant forms in, for thousands of years, but now they're sort of being mass produced in the sense uh, that it can be literally in a, in a capsule sized pill and you could just accurately pop them day in, day out. That's sort of like potion making, uh, you know what I mean? So there's so many layers as to why thinking about the ultimate possibility for your health uh, is very true because I mean, I'm going to the gym every day. I'll be flat out honest. I'm not seeing the results that I really want to have. Uh, and I'm not living up to that vision that I have, but that means that at somewhere along the way, the method of what I'm doing to get there is not adding up and something about my daily habits are not adding up for some reason. And so I have to, uh, be true to the honesty with that so that I can get the results that I want to get. So that's just what this uh, quick video is about. Think more magically. Think like you have the ultimate power to restore uh, your body and your mind and your uh, way of being. And you never know, it just might happen. This is David with Heart Magic. Uh, I hope that you uh, are uh, getting better and enjoying your life. See you in the next video.